Hi, my name is Ken D. Orlick on behalf of Expert Village. Okay, uh, this is removing a component. Uh, what we're going to remove is this big can here. It's a uh, capacitor, um, and the leads are right on the back here. So I'm going to put this in the vise. Something, uh, something that's a little difficult about soldering, typically, is the fact that you need three hands to do it. Obviously no one has three hands, so you need something to hold your work. And you need three hands usually is because you've got your hand full of soldering iron and usually either a solder removal tool or a solder, so that's why you need something to hold your work securely. I'm going to lower that down here. Get another look here. There's my component right there. And I'm using a, a little bit different uh, gas-powered one here. This one is a self-igniting one. Um, let's try it out here. Heat in there. So I'm going to let that heat up. If you can see in there, it's got a little bit of flame. See the orange in there? Let's see. All right, and you can you know it's hot when you touch your sponge. See a little bit of steam coming up there. Another thing on that too is you don't want to really just keep it in the sponge because when you do that then you're cooling it and that kind of defeats the purpose of, uh, of uh, soldering because you need the heat. Okay, uh, so once again take a look at my board. So we're going to remove the component here. So you push this down. This is a solder removal tool. Hold it on there. Get that there. Just hold that till it liquefies, you'll watch it just kind of liquefy, see that? Kind of put that on there, that sucks it right up, spits it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a uh, solder stand there. I'm going to do a little adjustment here, just kind of push it down. There we go. It's almost removed. Do a little bit more, just to be sure. Another thing too is uh, you don't want to keep the heat on the, the uh, trace, it's called, where the, where the uh, components go through a little hole. You don't want to leave it on there too long because the trace can actually lift up if there's, if there's heat on it for too long. So it's kind of a fine line here as you do stuff. 